such a big toe. Let's try this again. back to my channel it's your girl elder you already know if this is your first time tuning in i welcome you with love hugs and kisses Mwah! you already know but i need you to become my cousin yes that's right cousin hit that subscribe button hit that bell and rock with your girl and be my cousin if you've been rocking with your girl you already know how we get down baby we be like what's up cousin we be like what's up cousin we be like Welcome back, back, a back, back, a back, back, a. You already know, baby. Listen, y'all. It is. I don't know what time it is. I cannot sleep. My mind is racing. So I wanted to have a poly session. Those of you that don't know what poly means, it means talk. Just talk, talk. Okay. And I was asked the question once again, why? Why are you single? Why am I single? Am I skirt, y'all? Low key, am I skirt? Or I don't want my time wasted. Maybe it's just I don't want my heart to be played with. But then again, I just don't want to bring anybody around my daughter. It's so many factors, but you know, I'm in no rush, you know. Um, the single life is ghetto in these streets. It's ghetto in these single streets. Hunty, it's ghetto in these streets. Yes, I said what I said. I said what I said, it's ghetto. But in all honesty, um, yes, I do have a crush. Yes, I do. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Boop. Touch your nose. But, um. Yeah, I'm not in no rush. Like, you know. We look at. Relationship as. Some of us, I should say. You know, some people. Gotta understand that. A relationship is just not only a physical thing. <laughs> it is mental, emotional, spiritual, and financial. Okay? And I'm that type of person. When I'm with you, I'm with you. And when I say I give you a thousand, I give you a thousand. Okay? So, yeah, I'm in a place where I don't want to be giving my all and giving and I'm not reciprocating. You understand what I'm saying? And then I want to be... I want to make sure that I have the emotional, the mental, the spiritual capacity to carry this individual um, as he carries me. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm very cautious um, how I want to invest um, when it comes to those components because I don't just want to be pouring out all this gold, all these gems, you know what I'm saying? And the person cannot, they don't know how to uh, take care of it or nurture it um, or invest in it. You know what I mean? But um, but do I have lonely nights? Yes, I do have lonely nights. Um, I do have, you know, I do have moments where I do want to be held or, you know, I want to go on these little cute dates or whatever. You know, I do have those moments, but you know what? Um, Y'all, it's about to be four years since I've been divorced. My anniversary is coming up. My divorce anniversary is coming up this month. This month towards the end of this month. Yes, yes. And um, I took my time to heal. Okay, I took my time to deal with with some things deal with self you know my insecurities i took because as i always say 
I, me going into my next relationship, I want to possess what I expect from my significant other. And I'm not saying that it's going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect, but I want to position myself. I don't want to be one of those females that be like, oh, gimme, 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 gimme. And um, there's nothing I'm able to give him in return. Because um, when if he's, I want him to see that I am able to add on to him. As I stated, I want to, um, possess what i expect okay and another thing is y'all my nose is peeling i don't know what's going on but praise you jesus but yeah so i want to possess um what i expect and then as well as you know i just want to do things different you know i don't want to rush anything definitely want to take my time i want to be able to make sure i'm able to accept their past their present and embrace their future um i i want to go into it where i can be me 1000 okay whether i am my tomboy or whether i'm girly like i want i want him to be able um, to accept me all around as I always say take me as I am or don't take me at all Okay, and with these um, Four years coming up of me being single. I'm okay. Even though it's ghetto in these streets though Even though it's ghetto in these single streets um, I'm good. I'm comfortable. I'm at peace. I'm loving myself. I'm embracing myself I'm embracing my femininity because <laughs> those of y'all that knows I'm a whole time boy in the streets. Give me a snapback, give me a tee, some sneakers, and I'm good. And there's a lot of things, believe it or not, um, being to the fact that I had to, um, sorry, I got it, my back. Um, there's a lot of things that I have dumbed down, um, in my previous relationship. We're just gonna say it like that. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things I dumbed down on um, in my previous relationship that I'm like having to relearn or having to get comfortable back in or get into the swing of um, because I dumbed down that much. Um, so, and then, um, yeah. So that's why I feel like um, I'm still single. I'm not in a rush. Um, can I be aggressive? Yes, I can because your girl was that time. Hey, yo. Let me holler at you. Or I had no problem letting a man know that I was interested in him. I had no problem making the first move. I like, I, I really didn't. So I'm learning how to do things different, but more ladylike, I should say. Um, what else? Y'all, it's just, it's just, I think it's the mental, emotional, and physical components for me as far as prepping myself for it um because baby i'm not trying to be on three thousand million dates i'm not okay and you know I, I i just don't have time for it and you know i'm cautious on how i move because i have a daughter okay and then as well what i was gonna say i lost my train of thoughts I knew as soon as I started, as soon as I would have started recording, I knew my body was going to start shutting down. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. But, um, yeah, I just took my time. I'm taking my time. I'm okay. I'm at peace. Um, and I just want to do things slowly um, and surely. And do I have a list? Yes, I do. There are things I uh, there are things that I will not compromise, but there are also things I know that I will have to wait for it to come into fruition or manifest within my significant others and I just know that some things will just not come to pass at all. Um but one thing I can say is to my single people um if you are wanting to be in a relationship, make sure that you're not comparing a potential with the fantasy man or woman in your mind. Um, because, or stop trying to figure out or stop trying to strategize or uh, predict how your love story is going to start. Um, and I think that's another 
another thing where we trip up at is because because it doesn't start the way that we desire it to start uh we end up missing out or we end up calling you know things quit a little too soon um also is you know let's not skip stages okay let's t let's truly take our time because you don't want to jump into something and you feel like you don't know that person if you if you're being led by the holy ghost met them by all means move according to the holy ghost all right but other than that what i'm saying is don't rush it because you want to know who you are getting involved with okay and that's going through different scenarios with them because we can always take somebody um when it's good you know the puppy stages you know all that is dope it is it is but how are you under pressure how are you when your finances are running low how are you with your money um you know how are you when your back is against the wall you know are you patient are you quick tempered like you have to know all these things what is your relationship with your family what is your relationship with people are you good with people are you introvert are you extra? you want to know all of this going um you know building with somebody because you don't want to be caught off guard and i feel like in today's generation we live in such a microwave generation where it's just like okay too many it's in the microwave and then boom but it's just like we're forgetting the process and it's in that process you get to know that person on different aspects you know what i mean um because you don't want to be with somebody who may not be able to carry you who may not be able to support you or who does not have the capacity for you so even though it's ghetto in these streets you all take your time and do not compare your potential mate with this fantasy individual in your mind okay get rid of this fantasy person in your mind it's okay for you to have a list but understand if you have 10 things on those lists your potential mate may um come with four of those things okay and you're waiting for two to come into fruition and the rest you just might not see so look at your list analyze your list if you have one and be realistic be realistic because at the end of the day once you become one with this person or once you're building with this person there should be a balance okay and you want to be able to see that balance coming in um you know whether you may be the spender but they might be the frugal one and because of that you guys balance or wherever you may lack discipline they might have discipline wherever they may lack consistency you may be consistent and it creates balance you want to be with somebody that's going to push you to be the better you every day and who's not afraid to tell you how it is regardless if it will hurt your feelings or not okay because being in a relationship is all about partnership okay and you want to date with purpose you want to date with purpose i don't uh, listen i'm not i'm not that type of chip with go with the flow no we ain't no 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 you better have a game plan i'm not saying we gonna date for one year and then be engaged for another and then get married by the third year no but you need to know what it is that you want and is is the goal if is the goal marriage okay that's just the type of person that i am okay so yeah that's why i'm single do i have a crush yes i do but i'm single um and when he find me he find me and it's gonna be the best day of his life and it's gonna be the best day of my life you already know so i hope this encouraged somebody um to pump down to pump the brakes a little bit to analyze to you know self-check you know check your motives on why you want to be in a relationship you know what is the purpose um deal with whatever it is that you need to deal with and yeah be great and 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 grow and prosper and be beautiful learn how to be content it doesn't mean that you have to stay there but just learn how to be content on where you're at um because you don't want wanting to be in a relationship or wanting to be married to become a god before god you don't want it to be you don't want to start idolizing it um or placing it before god um because listen the enemy work he that he slick he very slick he very slick and i want you to avoid the counterfeit before the promise but 
I love you. Listen, become my cousin and subscribe now. Subscribe, okay? And hit that bell. Hit that bell. But I love you, baby. Be blessed, be encouraged, and remember, at the end of the day, baby, baby, you got victory on every side. Yeah!